morning, y'all. Mm. Bright and early. Whoo! <laughs> you know what time it is. Uh, security light woke me up a little bit. So, you know, got the car packed. We got a little bit of a drive. You know what I'm saying? We got a, okay, got some flatheads we got to catch a day. All right. <laughs> All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are up here at one of, one of my flathead spots, and good news is, you know, last time I was out here, they had these marker buoys all out in the water to represent lanes for the rowing teams, you know? And I don't know if they were having matches or something that day or what, but you couldn't pat, you couldn't cast past so far, all right? Good news is they got all those buoys out of the water. Bad news, <clears throat> there is goose doo-doo all over the dock. I mean, it's like, it's like a minefield almost. I mean, you look, it's just splatters and splatters. I'm gonna tell y'all, man, I did not know geese could poop so much. And you know it's them because they left their little feathers all over the place too. Anyways, we are fishing. I got two rods out. I got flathead candy right there. And we're gonna see if we can catch a big flathead today. Water's super calm this morning. We're just now at sunrise. It's supposed to be cloudy this morning and probably around 9 a.m. It's supposed to be absolutely clear and sunny. Temperature's supposed to be right around lower to mid 70s. I got 10 bluegill and I was lucky enough to even get those because catching bait yesterday the bait did not want to cooperate they really made me work for it i stayed out there a lot longer than i wanted to but that's the name of the game i'm going to start with some live bait and then uh we'll see how that does then we may eventually go to some cut bait and we'll keep it going all right mm. watch the other pole there You definitely want uh, to be able to travel and move around a little bit. Fish on. Oh, live bait. You don't feel that big. Oh, live bait. Oh, a lot of head shakes. Oh snap! Oh, he's taking me all over the place. Oh, oh he's definitely double digits. Oh, that was a live bait right there, y'all. Oh, kind of. Oh snap! Oh, he's big. He got some size to him. Oh. Oh. No oh, fudge. Oh. Fudge. Woo! No, he ain't that big, but uh, he certainly had the eye of the tiger. Oh, snap. Beautiful hook set. Uh-oh. I thought that was going off. Oh. Oh. Got an attitude. 
Gonna get him a no bird poop. Whoo! I'm gonna apologize. I'm trying to get a decent picture, and he just slung goose poop all over the place. <laughs> Started flopping and just got goose poop everywhere, didn't you? He's not bad though. He's gonna get a weight on him. He's gonna be double digits, I'd say. See how much he weighs. Well, I guess we'll put a live gill back on. Oh. Twelve point two six pounds. Twelve. Happy and healthy. All right, that's one on the board. We get this tangle rectified real quick. That's one for live bait. All right, y'all, we're at the second spot. Got a live gill on here, getting ready to throw it out. <laughs> so the good news is there ain't no goose poop over here like there was at the last spot all right <laughs> that was awful i mean you could just you could smell it when you was over there and then not only that but <laughs> when we caught that 12 pound catfish man that thing started <laughs> flopping and rolling and flinging <laughs> goose doo-doo everywhere <laughs> it was awful dude but uh it's a lot more calm over here uh got the poles out got live gills on both and we're just waiting to see what uh bites still trying to catch that monster flathead i don't know if it's just the cooler temperatures or what but uh it's definitely been a tough bite but it's all good though because that's fishing man sometimes the bite's not so good sometimes the bite's awesome you know what i'm saying and especially in this body of water you don't know what size flathead you could hook into man you could cook catch a five pounder 35 pounder or 55 pounder you never know and the cool thing i like about this section of this river it's not that wide so uh, if you have the right gear you can nearly launch your poles across to the other side so anywho i'm a chill it seems like the fish always want to start biting when i start falling asleep so i think i'm gonna try to take me a nap a little bit you know what i'm saying <laughs> all right y'all <laughs> that poor goose almost got ran over by that rowing team. <laughs> well, that screwed up my B-roll. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, came to this spot, man. It ain't nothing right here at all. You know what I'm saying? I've been here like two and a half hours watching videos. I was filming some B-roll. <laughs> and I was getting a wide angle of this rowing team rowing with the uh, just the wooded area in the background. And as they were rowing, I saw this commotion on the water. I'm like, what the world? <laughs> so I zoomed in, and this doggone goose was in their path where they were rowing. <laughs> he was trying so hard to get out the way. He barely got out the way. I just couldn't stop laughing, watching that video, man. I just created a short of it, put it on YouTube. I'm sure you've seen it by now. But uh, that's been like the most eventful thing here. <laughs> I mean, it ain't, it ain't nothing going on. I mean, the temperature is still pretty cool outside. I'm wondering if that has anything to do with it. 
from all this rain, but it's been a slow day. So we're gonna go to my next spot that I have in mind. Uh, and then if that don't work, I might bounce around to some of these new spots that I have saved because I got like 10 spots in this area saved up. So hopefully we can get more than one flathead because it is a little bit of a drive up here. And you know, that size flathead, a 12 pound flathead is not too com. They're not too common. Of a double, double digit flatheads are not too common uh, in the Potomac. You can catch them, but you just don't see double digits uh, flatheads like you do up here. So he still put up a good fight though, but uh, I definitely want more than one fish. We could find, if we can get a 30 pound plus, that would be awesome. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna go ahead and start packing up, get back to the car, and we're gonna head to another spot uh, and see what happens. It might be just a slow bite all over today. We'll see. And if that spot don't work out, again, I'm probably gonna bounce around and try some of these other spots that I have marked on my map that I never fished yet. So, you know, definitely wanna get it in before everybody starts showing up and cooking out for Memorial Day because two have to work uh, early tomorrow morning too. So, you know, all right. So I'm gonna get packed up. We're gonna get on the uh, road here and then I'll see you at the next spot. All right. All right, you guys. So we're back at the original spot and that's because normally this spot produces day and night and sunrise and sunset. Uh, it's gonna be the last spot. Uh, I'm either going to stay here and skunk or we're going to get some fish and have a good day of fishing. Uh, running low on gills. I got two live gills in the two poles now. And I got three more left in the bucket. So, we're going to wait and see what happens, man. Uh, so, I was driving over here. I thought I left my TBA hat in the car. Actually, I left. it was just buried <laughs> in some stuff in, the, uh, in my car. So, I found it. Got the poles out. Clouds are clearing up. It's definitely warmed up outside. Hopefully that triggers a bite now. We'll see. But stand by, you know what I'm saying? Just waiting to see if we can get another flathead. We got one on the board and it's a 12 pounder. And yeah, you know what I'm saying? All right, y'all. All right, ladies and gentlemen, fish have spoken and they don't feel like biting today. So this is my third move. I've used cut bait, I've used live bait. Only had that one fish today, you know what I'm saying? Still a fish and I still made a video out of this. You're probably asking yourself why. Now, if I've been putting videos out regularly all year, I probably, I probably wouldn't have, I probably wouldn't even make this video one fish, but I gotta get some content back out because I haven't posted in a while. So, got my equipment in. You ready call it a day as I gotta drive back home. I gotta work in the morning. And when I say morning, I'm talking about 3 a.m. So I need to go home and get some sleep. But, still nice to get out on this Memorial Day. It's beautiful out here. The cl clouds are finally cleared up. The wind has died down. A lot of people out and about and of course a lot of them nasty stinking geese back here you know <laughs> but i'm out of here all right so in the meantime y'all take care be easy baltimore angler see y'all later man what's up you guys it is tba and i hope you enjoyed that video if you did then check out this playlist with some other flatheads and get your flatheads watch on you know what i'm saying and as always, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you know when I drop a new video, alright? Peace.